to you world, it's your boy Dusty Diesel Technician, man, back with another front field informative video. Today, we're going to keep the Mr. Tire stories rolling, man. I'm going to share this right here with y'all today, man. So, I was working at one of the locations. One of the co-workers there was a base head, crack head. And he used to come to work real high and keep drinking coffee, smoking a thousand cigarettes, keep going on breaks and all that. And, oh, my goodness. But he knew his stuff, though, right? So, listen, one day, on this particular day, he had to do some power stern work. I don't know if it was a pump or a rack. He was placing something. But I know it was it was, it was, it was like a medium-sized job. I know that. And um, basically, he went on here, did the job, sent the car out. Now, me, being preoccupied, I'm not even paying attention that he just sent the car out. You see what I'm saying? Or I'm, I'm over here straightening up my area because I had just finished the job. We get ready for my next job. So I'm, but I sent the car leave out over there. Ten minutes later, manager right in the back. Man, whose ticket was that? Who, who went on the boss wagon? Not me. He's like, I had no other wagon. What was going on? So now automatically in my head thinking he probably ain't tight the lug or something. We'll fight camera. But no, he like, man, the man talking about his car on fire, man, he on his way back, he said he got on the highway, man, he said his car on fire. So the man just looked like he pissed off. I'm like, I'm like, what? <laughs> what do you mean his car on fire? You know what I mean? Like, he said his man car on fire is short shit. This man pulled up, balling, smoke coming from everywhere out the car. So I'm like, God. Boy, he hop out the car. Car's on fire, man. What did you guys do? What did you guys do? He's having a panic attack, right? So I run and go get the dang on fire extinguisher. I'm looking for fire. I just see smoke though. So lift I uh, unbutton it, lift the hood up, I don't see nothing. Look under the car, I don't see nothing. Then it dawned on me that he just did that pop stun or something telling me, man, pull the car in real fast. I pull the car in real fast, lift it up on the left, I get underneath of it. I can see the pipe smoking, the exhaust pipe is smoking, piping, this is letting off all the smoke, right? So I immediately knew that he just did that job. So I'm like, man, he, 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 he didn't even let the fluid burn off the pipe. He just sent the car straight off. When you do jobs involving fluids and, and oils and stuff like that, and if stuff get on the exhaust pipes, you got to sit the car out in the lot and let that stuff burn off before you give it back to the customer so he don't think it's car on fire. You know what I mean? So <laughs> once I had to talk to him because the manager pulled him right in the office for that. But I had, so I had to go talk to the manager. When I talked to him, I just reassured him and let him know, no, that's just fluids on the pipe. Once they burn off, the car will be fine or whatever like that. Man. That man really thought his car was on fire. That's like some of the stuff that you go to and they would do. Man, dude was high out of his mind. Had he not been high, he would have let the fluids burn off. The man, he know, he know his job, but high, keep smoking cigarettes, drink coffee. The set man come back thinking his car on fire. <laughs> Don't do drugs. I'm Dustin D. Technician, man. Y'all know my slogan is, bro. I keep you alive. Thanks for watching.